Well folks, this is an easy one. It's an air fryer dessert. It only has got one cooked ingredient, and that is a puff pastry baby. Can you guess what it is, you? Yeah? Oh, I know who said that baby. Yeah. Right, so we've got a, a set of ingredients here. Let's show you them first. We've got some double cream, puff pastry, some strawberry jam, and some strawberries. So this is just a roll of puff pastry. I think this costs something like 80 pence, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually cheaper, I think, and easier to buy puff pastry. I don't agree with short crust, so I'd rather make that, even though you have seen me use it, but puff pastry, buy it. You said all that in one breath. I said it all in one breath. Right, so where do we start, baby? Come on. Right, so this is puff pastry, as I said, dear. Comes in a roll. We do keep some of this in stock, and we just put it in the freezer. And it should roll out pretty nicely. It's defrosted now. There we go, look at that, look. There we go. That's a full sheet of already made puff pastry, baby. Really quick and easy. So if you always have puff pastry and you get a surprise visitor, you're laughing. Yeah, you can make these in no time. So what do we do? We're going to cut these into... I'll go down the middle, because I think that's going to be the, roughly the size of right, them. Right, they look quite... Uh, that looks central. Yeah, whatever. It's all guesstimate, baby. So just slice that pastry down the middle, because you're going to make the top and the bottom... Do they have a middle layer in these, Sharon? No. I can't remember. No. Top of the bottom lid is all we're doing here. As I say, I don't think we've actually done these before, Sharon. No, that's um, what I'm a bit worried about, which we're going to find out, is this going to fly about in the air fryer, the pastry? Because the fan in there is actually quite uh, strong, isn't it? Yeah. And we did cook some pizzas in there the other day, and the pepperoni which we laid on top, it sort of flew about apparently, didn't it? You, yeah. you didn't tell me that, but you said that's what happened. So. The way around that is to cook your pizza a little bit first so that the cheese on top gets a little bit sticky. Open the drawer up and then put your pepper army on. So we learnt that through experience. Seven out of one sheet. And I think you usually prick it. Right, so just give it a little prick, okay. And put these four in the air fry and I'll get the rest ready. Now they're going to go in the air fry but they're going on the bake for 160 for 12 minutes. Right. But do check. Right, get them in baby. And literally just lay them in. And we're just whacking it in, and you're using the bake setting, you said, didn't you? Yeah, 120, uh, 160, sorry, 12 minutes. Right, and we will check them. Wait right, to through. see if I can hear any noises of it flying about. And what we've just noticed, folks, is that on the bake setting, there, it's very quiet. Now, what that probably means is when you put it on bake, probably the fan don't rotate as fast, so there's no chance of pastry, for example, like what you just put in there, flicking up in the air, maybe. That's probably why that fan is probably running slower. There is a difference when you put it on the bake setting. I don't think, because it's pastry, I'm not going to open the drawer. Right, okay, leave it there. So yeah, you're going to leave it for It might affect minutes. the rising of it, so I'm going to see how this one goes. Yeah. So yeah, if that was on air fryer now, you'd hear the air fryer a lot more. So that's just a thing to note, that it seems to be gentler on the bake setting so far. Right, so one thing to note here, folks, I did say to Sharon that perhaps we should have put it in on the parchment paper, but the reason why you don't do that is because the air fryer grill, that what's that plate called? Crisper. The crisper, allows the hot air yeah, to go underneath and cook it from below so you don't get a soggy bottom. So that's the reason why we don't do that and whack them ones in and do exactly the same again. Number two, we're gonna put it on bake. She's dropping the temperature down, or the time down to 12 minutes on 160 degrees C, and just started that one off as well. So we've got loads more to play about here with with our, our uh, 80 pence roll of pastry. And how much do you pay for a cream slice? Well, they're about one pound 50, depending where you go. Well, yeah. You get the custard ones, but this is proper cream ones. So while we're waiting for them to cook, folks, we're just gonna whip the cream up and make it stiff. Right, well, as you can see, folks, after probably about five minutes now, good exercise. Yeah. It's now starting to get thick. Just give it a right good beating. Oh yes, I've pretended it's a lot of people. There you go, I think that's it baby, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. You're at the peak stage now, folks. So we'll let that sit in the fridge, cool down a little bit, and uh, that's that done.
Right, so we're just gonna prepare the strawberries now. Just get a few of them out, folks. These are already cleaned and washed, so you can eat these straight out of the packet, these ones. Now, if you're gonna have a strawberry cream, you've got to taste the strawberry, not search for it. Yes, baby. Right, so this one's just finished, folks. Let's have a look. As you can see, they've puffed up. They probably could go a little bit darker, but they're all right, aren't they, Shem? Yeah, they are nice. Oh, I think they're all right. Whack them out. If you want to go a little bit further, folks, it's tied up to you. We'll try the next one. We'll try 13 minutes. What was this for? 12. 12 minutes. Right, so she's just going to whack another couple in the old air fryer. But then you don't want it going mad because it's a pudding at the end of the day. Yeah, you, know? you can get them where they're over burnt sort of thing and that leaves a bit of a bitter taste. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe another minute more maybe, yeah. Again, that's the thing with the air fryer folks, a bit of trial and error. The times you get on a cooker compared to an oven, the air fryer normally is a lot quicker. There we go, so whack that in there. Drop the time down to 13, 13 and then just press the button again. Yeah. There we go, that's the other batch in. Right folks, this is a learning curve for us as well. I hope you can learn from this as well, just as we have done. We've cooked them all now. Now, as you know, we cooked the first lot on the bake setting for 160 degrees for how many minutes? 12. 12 minutes. The first ones we thought were a little bit light in color. We then upped the uh, time to that 14 minutes and again they still appeared a little bit light in colour so I said to Sharon what we should do is just try three on the air fry settings which bumps the temperature up to 200 degrees C well these things are actually done in five minutes let me show you the difference between the uh, bake settings on 160 degrees C for 12 minutes or 14 minutes and the air fry setting for 200 degrees for five minutes so I don't quite know if the uh, camera's picking these up correctly these ones here, these were 160 degrees on the bake setting for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. These ones here were again on the bake setting for 14 minutes, not much difference in colour. But these three here, we put on the air fry setting, the basic air fry setting and the fan speed shower did increase, didn't it? You yeah. could hear it when you yeah. start it up and they only took five minutes. And then to me, are a better looking colour and obviously half they cooked in half the time. So just to let you know, do experiment with these settings. Depends on what you're cooking and you'll soon learn your own way forward on that one. So right baby, what do we do now then? We're gonna put some jam on. Right. And then the strawberries, then the cream, and then a top. Come on in, let's get on with it. So yeah, we've just got this jam, it's a strawberry jam. So it's a jam on every other one basically. Yeah. Right, so that's all, every other one with the jam on, folks. So we're just now literally just gonna lay these strawberries on. Again, you have gotta be ultra delicate with these. Although the other ones are cooked, these lighter ones, there's just not a lot of color in them. So don't worry about that, they are cooked, they've puffed up lovely. So um, it's just what your preference is at the end of the day. I like to see them a little bit darker, that's all. Right, so out of our cream, folks, this is nice and thick, this cream now. And we're gonna put the cream on the other side, not the strawberry side, this will be the top end so to speak. There you go, look at that. You can always put plenty on, folks. Always put plenty on. And then literally just whack that together. So we'll go along and do these, folks, and we'll come back to you in a second when we've done them all. Oh, there we go, folks. Look at them little babies, look. Really puffy. So we're just gonna drop some icing sugar just over the top. Oh, all over, baby, come on. Get them all over the top there. There you go, look at that. Oh, look at them, perfect. Let's have a closer look at them, folks. Right, folks, here we go. Sharon's gonna taste one of these. I'm not gonna taste one of these because of my diabetes. So let's see you cut into this, baby. Oh, you gonna, hold on, you're gonna go for the bite. Go. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, come on, going again. Oh. It's not my fault. 
even no she got bloody nice go away your peace drowning by yourself now you want to play oh it's all over your face <laughs> like you have no eyes. look at that folks i ain't take your mm. options now i'm not the problem man go away now well, baby, you enjoy it just as much as I would do, but I can't have one, obviously. But uh, anyway, folks, just a simple one. A bit of trial and error there for us. As I say, we're not experts on the air fryer, but we're learning as we go along. And we can bring that to you to, so that you can see that changing the temperature settings makes a difference to what you produce. <laughs> Thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to check out our other food Absolutely videos. Amazing. It is good, is it? I love it. It's gone. She's demolished it. Look. <laughs> I better take them away this from her. This to me is better than any chocolate cake. Yeah, she's I not, don't like chocolate She's not cakes. a chocolate cakey type of this person. This is what... Yeah. And when you think, the roll of pastry cost 85 pence. The cream you said was two pounds, Sharon, didn't you? Mm. And what the else was there? The strawberries were two pounds. So, technically speaking, uh, five pounds. Mm. And if you went to buy one of them in the, in the baker's, I think they're about one pound fifty each anyway, Sharon, aren't they? I'd say about two pounds, no? Maybe even two pounds. Okay. And don't forget, you can also put icing on the top of them as well, folks, to have a, a cream slice with the icing on the top. But anyway, there you go. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And also, don't forget Sunday, where we do our, uh, a weekly vlog on Sunday evening at 8 p.m. that goes up. And there's a chat box there where you can talk to us live on what we get up to during the week. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. I'll see you in the next video. I love these. Till then, bye for now. Bye. You can't believe the way you ate that so far, baby. Lovely. It's air, isn't it? Puffs air.